Hi everyone, today is October 13, 2023. So, I've not been making as many videos every day lately because this has become an environment which is um, difficult to read personally for me and it's just not readable. So, there is, I've shared a lot in my past videos which pretty much covers a lot about market profile. So, I don't want to keep, you know, posting unnecessary videos and flooding the YouTube channel with useless videos and that's when I realized that you know I shouldn't be posting when there is no substance to the markets when I say substance to the market is meaning what's happening right now it's just going sideways right so this was a balance area mark now we have this mark remember I also mentioned about that 4420 level again it's been respecting that it's amazing it's been respecting that for quite some time See that level there, that 44, 18 to 20 level. And so again, yesterday the markets came right to that level, very visual level. Um, so it, really the market has no direction at the moment. It's, uh, it's still deciding where this whole economy is going probably. Uh, you know, long-term uh, traders are staying out and stuff like that so really there's not much you can really do in this kind of a market so what i decided and as per a uh, recommendation of a dear trader friend and i've seen the market before but this is the oil market and uh, i know i strictly used to trade es but i started looking at the oil markets and uh, you know and it's 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 more of a telling you can read it better. I, I mean, I personally can read it better. Uh, and so if you, for those of you who don't trade the oil markets, or, fa or in fact, even look at the gold market, okay? Try look at looking at other markets. Maybe you'll find something to do there, meaning you'll find a trade there. Um, and maybe it's more readable to you. So explore other markets. Don't just be stuck to an ES market. Uh, remember also, ES is a very complex market. It it rides on so many different factors, so many different industries. And so it can be a challenging market or, you know, it cannot, it probably won't give you direction. That's what's exactly happening now. So like look at today, what's happening. It's just an inside day. It opened in the previous day's range. This is just going to be chop. Okay. So there's not much you can do in the overnight. We had a balance, somewhat of balance inventory. Yes, we do have a prominent POC. So I would absolutely look at that. Does the prominent POC get taken out? But, you know, it, it opened here and it just went higher. We don't see any vo good volume at the bottom. There's a volume taper as of now. And we are right at that 4,400 level. So there is no direction, you know, if... Uh, it just came back down somewhat here. If there were, the market was strong, if it reached an important century level, it would just see continuation higher. And also remember I said this high is that 44, 20 level. It's so weak, such a visual level. Look at that. There is no access over there. So odds are high that it gets taken out and we might see continuation higher, okay? Looking at all that. But... um. You know, the way this tempo is going, so slow up, slow, slow down. There is no direction. There is no leadership, like buyers stepping in and taking it higher or sellers try to push this lower. When it's such a lagging market, it's best to just wait and watch, wait and see. Don't, don't, you know, fear of missing out is why you put on a trade and just say, hey, you know what, I'm going to, I know this is going to get taken out. I have no 100%. But, you know, if the market doesn't have leadership, why would you even risk that? Again, I am more biased to the upside of this getting bre uh, breached because of the fact that it's so weak, okay? And because we are over the 4,400 and we didn't see anything now. Now, that you could say is a little bit of a edge, but at the same time, the tempo is not there, okay? So, I can wait, you know, I'm not in a rush to trade. At the same time, like I said, you can always look at another market, oil, for example. So if you if you replay oil from yesterday, 
you will see that there were weak references left behind. The G high was weak because it was at the halfback of the previous overnight session. Uh, I took that off. I moved it higher because this is the halfback for tonight. Uh, you had this A, B, D, E highs exactly selling off like close to that level. It was also the low of this day. So I said, you know what, this pushed down and it took off this prominent POC from the other day uh, and it couldn't go down below the afternoon pullback low. So I said that was it. And I bought a options call for 84 points, okay. And uh, I sold one early in the overnight and then I left one, one runner. It's still, it's still open. I think I should close it now, but I'm into the money. I, I made a good profit. I, I bought four. So uh, what I'm trying to get to is, is look at other markets when, you know, if you are looking to trade or see markets every day. Yes, like I said, it's not going anywhere. So, you know, these days it's just trying to find some more information. Look at it. Last two weeks or so, it's just going in this range, 44, 20 to this 40, 42, 50 range. It's just it's just bouncing around here. Of course, you'll find trades in between, but you know, I look at I look at trades like a breakout trade. Like this day had a good trade, um, and this past two three days, it just looked like it was bouncing off that forty four twenty level, and there wasn't much to do. Um, let's see. I mean, I don't know. See this volume taper again on the top. It's just slowing down. I don't know what the markets are waiting for. I mean, it's just more information. We have the uh, difficult times in the Middle East and, and you know, all that going on as well. So I really hope everything gets settled down and resolved and there'll be peace in this world. We all very much need that. Um, anyway, back to this market. Yeah, so guys, look at other markets, please. Start looking at oil, looking at gold. This is gold. Uh, see how this is forming a trend line down. It broke that trend line. This is now a trend up. So, and it's coming a balance from this previous zone. So, this is like more tradable sometimes, you know, than the ES. This is oil again. So, please took, take a look at other markets. It might be something that suits your style. It might be something that is more telling. It, it, it will tell you a story. Uh, and so, you could trade it. Um, that's just my advice. I am seriously looking at oil now. Um, even sometimes I look at gold, like I said, and, uh, maybe you folks will, you will do better in that. So try that out. Don't, don't be stuck. I was stuck. I was, you know, just thinking like, Hey, I just have to master one market, which is the ES, which I, I am at fault at about, I'm guilty about it. I said, you know, do one thing, do one thing perfect, right? That's the whole idea of mastery. But um, it doesn't hurt to be a master. You could be a master in another market. Maybe that's your style. So get out of the idea which I was stuck with, like, you know, just trade one market. No, you want to look at other markets too, okay? So that's all I had to share about today, folks. Uh, so like I said, moving forward, I might talk about the oil. I might talk about gold. And maybe something else too, I don't know, soybeans, uh, orange juice in the future. I'll start looking at those markets as well, okay, it's because they might have a more tradable action, okay. All right, guys, sorry this video is a bit long. Uh, I hope this helped and hopefully you make something out of it, okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.